Hi. My name is Smiling Observer. I know it's been a very, very long time. Um, so today I uploaded two new videos. Um, they were very short because I was testing the InShot app on my phone. And I also tried to interject some comedy and I would have interject some singing, but I can't sing. <laughs> but it is what it is. So it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video of this length and of this particular quality. Um, but I'm glad to be doing it again. It's been a very long ride. Um, so, long story short, work has been insane. I have been working a lot. Um, um, since I am the supervisor, um, a lot of responsibility comes with that. And it's been stressing, it's been distracting, it's consumed a lot of my life and kind of sucked to find out but either way um, I was able to finally reach this point to where I actually feel like uploading again so and I know I look a hot mess I am not prepared for this but this is it here it is here we go now the reason why I keep looking down this way <laughs> and because um, I'm making this video is because I got a package from New Zealand. Uh, let me see, can you see that? New Zealand. Okay, so New Zealand right Oh, there it is, New Zealand. Um, so, our very own, um, ASMR duck sent me a package, and it arrived, actually, yesterday, and I feel terrible because I completely forgot. So, don't worry, Joy, don't worry, I am going to send you something. And it's going to be awesome. You just wait. And I might throw in something for uh, Mr. ASMR Duck. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, it's kind of hard to... Because I really want to send something that says America. But I don't want it to be cheesy. And I know you guys have been here before. And... I just just want to send you guys something nice. So, um, be waiting for that. It's coming. Don't worry about it. I haven't forgotten about you. So, basically, this is an unboxing. So, let's see. Am I strong enough to just tear this open? Yeah, I can, but that's gonna get messy. Mm -hmm. Whoa. 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 Hmm. Nice. So, I'm gonna open this up. Now let's see what's inside. But before I do that, I have to say something. I know I don't have my normal introduction. My laptop is shot. All right. It works, but it is a dinosaur. All right. It's aged in dog years. If dogs become 50 years old in a year, then yeah my laptop is old I eventually had to 
um, send it back to uh, I had to reset the factory default and in doing so I lost all my programs and I tried to reinstall my programs especially my editing software and I um, put in my code and it would not accept it and I am mad but at this point best thing for me to do is to go ahead and buy a new laptop and so that's going to be a while unless some of you were willing to drop some dollars into my PayPal account <laughs> otherwise it's going to be a while so anyway it is what it is Kiwi. okay let's open this up very carefully because I don't want to damage what's inside. What many of you don't know is, or many of you may know, I work in security. I provide access control and just general security for my company. And my team um, um, has discovered certain items being shipped, items of a narcotic nature, and these items are almost always found. So if you're trying to ship, okay first of all, you should not be mailing weed through the US Postal Service. Come on, that's that's just dumb. Alright, don't don't send anybody weed through the post office. It's dumb. You will be caught. We will find you. It's inevitable. So uh, don't don't do it. It's just not worth it. You lose all your product. You lose your money. And then when you're caught, you're incarcerated. And uh, as it stands, weed, while it is legal here in Washington, the federal government does not recognize that. All right, the state government does. The federal government, not so much. So we treat it like we treat it like alcohol. You remember prohibition? So, um, alcohol is legal. You can buy beer. It is still illegal to be drunken or intoxicated publicly. People still do it, but it's illegal. Really, it is. Um, talk about archaic laws that are still on the books. Um, you still can't be drunk in public. And there's a lot of things you can't do in public that, you know, if you do them, you will get arrested. Or you could be arrested. Um, can't be running around in your birthday suit. <laughs> um, okay, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Smile Observer, what's the craziest thing you've had to deal with as a security guard? Well, there are several things. Um, the one that came to mind is I had a man show up at my place of work and 
the uh, um, I guess he had just got out of prison and he came to pick up a package and he got his package but long story short he wanted to use our phone I don't have to let you use my phone I don't you can go up the street well at the end of the day he starts yelling at my um, shift supervisor he starts yelling at her saying that's blanked up and accusing her of being uh, an obstructing Caucasian female um, that's a very polite way of saying it you get it and I thought that we were gonna have to fight this guy and I thought we were gonna have to tackle him to the ground and beat him in his face that didn't happen we just called the cops and uh, we faced off with this guy and she went left I went right and we we're like dude you need to leave you need to leave and then she would go right and I would cross over to the left I'm telling the dude, hey, you need to leave. And we're walking for it. And he's he's throwing a fit. But eventually he left. And eventually the cop showed up. But um, yeah, that was a pretty surreal moment. Um, I've had people try to come through with weapons. And um, I had to tell the guy, hey, look, you can't have this here. You need to take it back to your car. Uh, us Americans and our guns. Granted, I don't think there's wrong with us having guns. All right. And I don't think that um, me, as the media has been putting it, clinging to my gun is a bad thing. Because the minute they take away our rights to own weapons, own guns, the only people who are going to have guns are the bad guys. Trust me. Trust me on this. But that's another subject. I don't mean to get political. This is an unboxing. And it looks like joy. Joyful things are in this. Check this out. It's my weakness. It's chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. What up, chocolate? Oh, something you may not have known. I am actively trying to lose weight. <laughs> I'm trying to not be a fat American anymore. I'm trying to be a less fat American. <laughs> um, so some of the chocolates that she sent. Nice. Um, I was... Brace yourself. I weighed. I'm dropping stuff. I weighed a whopping 422 pounds. I know, right? But uh, I've since. And and here's why. Here's how I got so heavy. Um, because of the nature of my work. And having to constantly be at work and having to constantly run this operation. Um, I don't have time to cook. I don't have time for food prep. So what I end up doing is I'll just grab something on the way. And fast food is delicious. It is good. But it is also high in High in fat, high in sh it's high sugar content. Now, if they want to ban something in America, that's what they need to ban. They need to ban sugar. Um, I will not cling to my sugar. Right now, I'm just kind of addicted to it. <laughs> anyway, but I am actively um, holding down my sugar intake. Um, but... Long story short, as a result of changing my diet, changing what I eat, um, 
I have been able to go from 422 pounds down to 378 pounds. So I'm doing good so far. I do have a hiccup in my exercise program. I have a bad knee and Tuesday I go to the doctor to see what we're going to do about my knee. Oh, here's another one. It looks... I don't know, is this dark chocolate? Oh no, it's a white chocolate bar. Oh, I like white chocolate, I like dark chocolate, I like the milk chocolate. I like chocolate. And here is a Whitaker. Ooh. So this is dark chocolate. And it is going to be delicious. Best before January 17th, 2019. Well, <laughs> don't want to let this thing expire. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, um, speaking of um, weight. Um, so I've always heard of complex carbohydrates and, and uh, simple sugars. Mm, that's good. And I had no idea that if you eat a burger, you eat it, it sits in your stomach, it'll burn up in like two hours. And in two hours, guess what? You're hungry again. You're absolutely hungry again. But if you eat something like some brown rice, uh, some some veggies, um, throw some some um, uh, baked chicken in there, that rice and 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 is going to sit on your stomach for a lot longer than that burger will. And you'll find yourself not being so hungry. And I didn't know this, you know, I'm 42. How do I not know this? Anyway, I'm learning. I learned it. And since I've been eating that way, I'm going through most of my day not hungry. Because I have all this stuff in my stomach and it's breaking down slowly and I have more energy and I'm sleeping longer. <sighs> Why doesn't everybody know this? Or maybe everybody does know this. But we are here in America at least, or in this cycle of eating badly. I was I wish I I wish we ate better growing up. Oh yeah, that's right, we were poor, so we had to buy what we could afford, and what we could afford made us fat. Oh well, it's time to change that. It is time to change that. But, um, I don't need the government to change it for me. I'll change it myself. I'll change it myself. Mm, this is good. I like this. It's, uh, it's dark chocolate. It's not too heavy it is sweet but it's not overbearing I have had some overbearing dark chocolate before and it was just ridiculous it made me hate dark chocolate but that's good you know, so I guess I can tear this off it's wrapped like like it's wrapped like presents. Oh, nice! Oh, I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Can we put that right there? And we'll start with this. What is this? This where's that scissors? Carefully. Slowly open it 
This is why I want to make sure what I get is good because this is a caffeinated kiwi. It's, it's it says caffeinated. Can you see that? Caffeinated kiwis. And if you look at the side, <laughs> look at the expression on that kiwi. <laughs> She's all like. He's wired. <laughs> and he's all jittery. <laughs> nice. And this one's crashing. <laughs> Caffeinated kiwis. See, that's why I can make it. Okay, I'm going to get something. All right. Joy, you're going to like it. You're going to like it. And... This is slightly bigger. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, I'm going to have to lean back for this. Check that out. Road signs. Isn't that awesome? It's basically a whole map of New Zealand. There's Auckland, there's New Plymouth, there's a Christchurch, and Queenstown at the bottom there. Joy. I'm sorry. I keep calling you by your name. Hey, it's more duck. This is awesome. I'm going to top this. I'm going to have to. You can't keep being awesome. But i got to up my game. Wellington. Taranaki. Hawk Bay. This is awesome. And then we got the island distances and travel times. Now, my old boss took a vacation to New Zealand and he fell in love with New Zealand and um, I took a day off because I went to meet with ASMR Duck and her husband and and I put that on my time off request meeting with friends from New Zealand because I want him to know this is time sensitive you can't deny this because this may not ever happen for a long time excuse me and he uh, he approved it but he looked at me all weird like who do you know in New Zealand I'm like dude I know people all over the world what are you talking about who do I know in New Zealand I guess he didn't take me for an, an eclectic person which I'm not. I just think I am. Oh, guess what? Shh. I'm dating again. <laughs> I'm super excited. She is a wonderful girl. She's beautiful. She's intelligent. She's... She is eclectic. She very artistic. She's into the performing arts. Oh, she is so awesome. And I just I just want to impress her. I want to impress her so much. And I'm afraid because I don't know how. You see, I was in a I was in a relationship for eight years. And um, that woman actually made me hate women. Not hate women, but just want to be single the rest of my life. I'll, I'll just be single. I don't need women. But, um, I met this girl, and she's 
reignited something in me. And I'm like, this is great. This is awesome. And um, I'm both excited and terrified. But right now, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't want to say too much because she might be watching this. But, uh, baby, if you're watching this, I like you so much. And I hope that things work out really well for us. Um, wow, you bring a smile on my face every time I see you. Um, I can't contain myself sometimes. Well, actually, I guess I have been doing a very good job containing myself, if you haven't noticed, but... Every time you come into the room, it's like, there she is. <laughs> but I'm excited about you, and we're going to do this. Anyway, moving on to the next gift. Oh, it's a card. It's a card. To smile on the server. I hope you enjoy these Kiwi treats. And have fun unboxing them. Best wishes to Duck. AKA Joy. So, isn't that awesome? Can you see that? Yeah. And this is the card. That's, that's a beautiful drawing right there. I wish I could paint that well. I, I guess I never gave it a shot. Maybe I can. But, uh,. Thank you, ASMR Duck. This is awesome. And I definitely got to up the ante. Okay. Two more. And I'm going to cut this short because I tend to ramble on. <laughs> Doggy dog. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is ridiculous, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's a little pug with shades. <laughs> it's called Doggy Dog. <sighs> This is awesome. I can kind of smell it through the plastic. It's, a, it's an air freshener. <laughs> oh, this is, this is awesome. From his back and hang freely in your desired location. This is not a toy. Keep it reach out to him. Awesome, 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 awesome. This is awesome. Thanks, Joy. <laughs> it's a little bug with shades. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. And, uh, one more. And then I'll have to end this. Mine is the editing because my software is unusable because my computer is garbage. Ooh. Okay. What's this? There's something about me that no one really knows. 
I have been keeping a secret. And because I like you guys, I'm going to reveal that secret to you. And that secret is this. <sighs> I'm a bouncer. I I do security and a lady where I work <clears throat> her husband does security but he does it for a specific place um, so we do boat tours on Lake Washington and people come and they party and, and whatnot and I do security on that boat and what um, um, as a part of that um, I've only thought of it as security I'm just doing security and so I go we make sure no one's doing anything stupid we stop people from fighting uh, we stop people from acting up and to make sure that they enjoy themselves safely well I told somebody what I do and at first I was telling tell, I told them yeah I'm a bouncer but I was joking um, and so I started to think about it and I started to correct myself and I thought look okay I'm not a bouncer I'm a security guard I do security and he goes, where do you do security at? And I explained to him everything. And then he Googled something. And then he looked at me and he said, holding up his phone, and he read, bouncer. And he read the definition of a bouncer. And I said, oh my goodness, I'm a bouncer. I'm a bouncer. But when you think bouncer, you think, the big tough burly guys checking IDs and and if someone's acting stupid they grab them and they throw them out the door we don't do that we don't need to do that we just come and talk to you and say hey you're gonna dial it back or we're going to take other measures but it'd be better if you just dial it back and people listen so and we do a very thorough job of checking people making sure no one's bringing in any weapons that they shouldn't be bringing in which they shouldn't be bringing in any and we make sure that we're following the rules and the laws and just to make sure that everyone is safe so um, anyway this is going to come in handy because sometimes if something is happening my radio may not be able to work very well but I could uh, look across the room and I can do this and that will get the other bouncers attention and we'll converge and one time we uh, we hosted a Russian party. The Russians can be very um, straightforward people. And um, they were there, they were having fun, everybody was having fun. And um, this one guy, he wanted to fight and he started to fight. And, and um, the next thing you know, he found himself surrounded by us. And we're like, dude, you can't do this. You, you've got to stop. Or we will take measures. And his friend was like, it's okay, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll watch him. He just needs to get some rest. And we let him a little, we let him alone the rest. And he did, we didn't have any problems from him the rest of the night. So, it is what it is. But, yeah, that's my big secret. Oh, check this out. Play 
playing cards. New Zealand playing cards. Now, I never got into playing cards. When I was a kid, I played cards. You know, the usual stuff. Um, um, but I never really learned how to play cards. I have completely forgotten Uno because I haven't played Uno in so long. It's been so many years. I don't know the rules anymore. I don't know what to do. I definitely don't know how to play um, any of the uh, the other games. I don't even know how to play 21 anymore. I've forgotten the rules. But um, my mother tried to teach me how to <laughs> shuffle cards. I'm to this day I'm no good at shuffling cards. But uh, go ahead, pick a card, any card. Anyway. Oh. Okay. This is the card you picked? Okay. Shuffle. Shuffle the deck. I am not good at this. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? My phone is doing some weird stuff. Is your card? Is that your card? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna have to bring this unboxing to an end to a close. <sighs> Thanks for watching, and I may have to. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. And yeah, look forward to more. I will be doing more videos. All right. You guys have a good night. And if anybody's checked out Ready Player One, if you can just not drop any spoilers in the comments, but just kind of tell me thumbs up or thumbs down. What do you think?